The Sonoscape A6 is a full digital black and white diagnostic ultrasound with high performance. With the state of the art design and the utilization of high performance super large scale integration, this system is extremely capable of acquiring the acoustic information of human tissues. Accompanying the advanced hardware design is the Linux system, specifically optimized for medical use. It provides a solid back end for a wide range of professional application packages and the ease of use graphical user interface. Compared to conventional LCD monitors, the industrial grade LCD monitor installed on the A6 supports the display of ultrasound images with a higher resolution and has more grayscale levels. It also weighs less, reducing the overall weight of the ultrasound system. The A6 is a general purpose ultrasonic imaging instrument intended for use by a qualified physician for evaluation of abdomen, cardiac, small organ, peripheral vascular, transvaginal, transrectal, musculoskeletal, pediatric, fetal, OB and GYN, and urology. This device is intended for use on adults pregnant women, pediatrics, and neonates. This system is not intended for ophthalmic use or any use that causes the acoustic beam to pass through the eye. The net weight is approximately 13 pounds. The LCD display size is 12.1 inches. Dimensions of the A6 while open is approximately 15 inches in length, 13 inches in width, and 13.5 inches in height. Here's an overall look at the design of the A6. The top of the ultrasound has a strong integrated carrying handle. The side has six ports. Starting from the top is a serial port, an ethernet port, a VGA port, an S-video port, and two USB ports. On the back of the A6 is a video printer controller port, a video out port, a foot switch port, a grounding terminal, a DC power socket, and the main power switch. Above these ports there are two probe connector ports and to the right there are two probe holders. On the back of the A6 ultrasound are two transducer ports. Learn how to properly connect the probes to the A6 in this video. 
The A6 supports a variety of different probes. Use only the probes provided by Sonescape for the A6. Probes can be connected while the system is powered off or powered on. The following demonstration shows how to connect the probe while the system is turned on. Step 1. Turn on the unit and the exam screen will be displayed. As you can see, the system will recognize that there are no probes connected and will display this on the screen. Step 2. Turn the probe lock counterclockwise to the unlocked position. The small tongue of the probe lock inside the probe connector will be positioned to the left. Step 3. Make sure the probe cord is facing down and vertically insert the probe connector into the probe socket. Hold the connector and turn the lock knob clockwise to the lock position. In step 4, check the probe to make sure that it is securely connected. The system will automatically detect the probe and display it on the screen. To remove the probe, follow these simple steps. Step 1. Put the probe head safely inside the probe holder. In Step 2. Turn the lock knob counterclockwise to the unlocked position, and then remove the probe carefully from the probe socket. Probes can also be connected or disconnected from the ultrasound while in exam mode. Freeze the image first using the freeze key on the keyboard. Now the probe can be safely connected or disconnected. The Sonoscape A6 can be powered by two different sources. First, AC power through the AC adapter and power supply. And second, an integrated battery that is pre-installed by the manufacturer. This video will consider the proper procedure for powering the system using AC power. Before connecting the AC adapter, follow these important precautions. An AC adapter is supplied with a system that is specifically designed for use with the A6. To avoid hazard and system malfunction, use only this AC adapter that has been approved by Sonoscape to use with this ultrasound. Also, do not allow the adapter to hang in the air. Maintain good ventilation for heat dissipation and make sure that the power cable is not tangled. To connect the AC adapter to the ultrasound system, follow these steps. Step 1. Connect the supplied equipotential cable to the grounding terminal on the back of the ultrasound. Connect the other end of the cable to a proper grounding point. Step 2. Firmly attach the AC cord to the AC power supply adapter. Step 3. Make sure that the main voltage that the system will be connected to is within the required range indicated on the system label. Step 4. Connect the power plug of the AC adapter to the power supply outlet. Step 5. Connect the DC output plug to the power supply socket on the rear of the ultrasound system. The AC power LED indicator light on the keyboard will now be illuminated. Step 6. Double check that all the connections are correct and secure, and press the power button switch to turn the system on. To power the system off, simply press the power button down. <laughs> 